it's been a brutal year for tech giants around the world. Apple stock is down about 18% so far, and it is one of the better performers. Facebook owner Meta, Amazon, Netflix, Google's parent company Alphabet have all fared far worse, with Meta plunging nearly 65% this year. The other tech giants of Nasdaq, chip giant Nvidia, Elon Musk, Tesla are also down massively so far in 2022. What's hurting? Rising interest rates, macroeconomic uncertainty and global pressures. Recession worries are hurting Amazon and Apple and concerns about a strategy shift. For example, Meta going all in on augmented and virtual reality, Netflix embracing advertising for the first time ever is also hurting. Let's talk about what happened back home in India. Now, 2022 has marked a sharp decline in stock prices of Indian ID giants as they moved in step with the global counterparts. As this things currently stand, this year could be the worst year for Nifty IT since 2008 when the index was down close to 55%. The reason? PED rating as global interest rates went up and then there were some EPS cuts as growth forecasts moderated. TCS is now trading at a forward multiple of 25, 26 times. The peak was 32 times and the list goes on with Infi, HCL all trading at a much lower valuations compared to their peak. The worry is also about what next year holds. Analysts estimate that growth will slow down further. Nomura is saying the US dollar revenue growth to slow down to 8% next year versus 12.7% in FY23 for the big companies. The next big story of 2022 were the tech layoffs. Now, according to a layoff tracking website, layoffs.fii, data as of mid-December shows nearly 1,000 tech companies have laid off close to 1.5 lakh employees. And that includes biggies like Meta, Google, Amazon. They've laid off thousands of employees. And the question is, will this belt tightening continue next year? And the answer is probably yes. Many companies which have not announced their job cuts yet are likely to do so next year. HP is looking to pull back on its workforce. Reports suggest Google is looking to axe about 10,000 employees next year. And here we're only talking about the multinational tech giants. There are so many smaller startup companies where we are seeing some big job cuts too. But the biggest news maker of the year for me is Apple, which moved its iPhone 14 production to India. Now, Apple has been assembling smartphones in India since 2017. But up until this year, Apple used the manufacturing facilities in India to assemble the older generation handsets, the legacy models. This year, 2022, was the first time Apple produced the latest smartphones. They produced the phones as the same year as its release, just a few months of lag compared to China. And the story is we've just gotten started. According to JP Morgan, every fourth iPhone will be made in India by 2025. What's the driver of this big shift? China unrest, reduce your dependency on China, and an affirmation of India's PLI scheme. According to India Cellular and Electronics Association, India is likely to export handsets worth 9 billion in FI23 versus 5.8 billion in FI22, a whopping jump of 55%. And this is the big question as we step into 2023. Can India become the new smartphone manufacturing factory for the world?